And so moments ago, I just got off the phone with Uber Eats support to try to get an answer to a question because Uber Eats lies to their drivers. Point blank, period, period. Let me explain. Today, I decided to go to the city of Montreal to brace myself with high anxiety and try to get some deliveries done. Now, nonetheless, I did end up coming home and I did not secure any deliveries in the city. But it's always fun when you see a 3.1 multiplier with Uber Eats and then you get a minimum base offer of $3.36. So I drove around a bit and I got another stupid minimum $3 and some odd change. Now let's do the math here, people. Let's even say, hypothetically speaking, the minimum base offer without a multiplier is $2 per delivery, which is complete trash. But let's just say in humor, Uber here, let's say it's $2 and you're giving me a 3.1 multiplier. Let's round it 3.0. Isn't that supposed to be at least a $6 minimum? So for Uber to turn around and go $3.36, that was a disgrace. But of course I had to screenshot it. Now I come back to the South Shore and on my way back, we have a 1.8 multiplier. And what's the minimum that I get? $3. So you're going to tell me that going to the city of Montreal with a 3.1 multiplier versus the South Shore of Montreal with a 1.8 multiplier in 12 o'clock in the afternoon is a difference of 36 cents. So I contacted support and this is what they had to say about the subject. Hi, my name is Ashley and I am actually calling with a general question. It's not to a specific order right now. I'm a driver for Uber Eats and I am in the Montreal area. Earlier before, I was in the city of Montreal where Uber was providing a 3.1 multiplier and I'm curious to know what is the base offer, the minimum offer that you offer in the city of Montreal? We got the tip. Yeah. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to check the information here. Um, is it okay, Ashley, to update this going forward for a minute or two? Uh, yeah, as long as it's not too long because I do have errands to run. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll just be quick with this. I'm going Thank to uh, maximize my toll here. So, Thank you. Moment. Thank you so much. Hello, Ashley here. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much for patiently waiting here on the line and I do apologize for this long hold. Yeah. So I already maximized my tools here. So I already checked the details of your questions. So when it comes to the fare that you're going to receive, which is intended on Montreal, okay? So it's basically uh, actually for the um, your Afrin fare that was been shown to you, okay? So uh, that is only the estimated, but it will be the uh, um, the basis on your trips the, that it will be included this earnings for the pickup, the travel time, and the distance of that. So it will be uh, accumulated plus the tip uh, will be included on that half and share. Okay, so we don't have the specific the the amount that it will be uh, showing but uh the basis of that on the fare for you on the delivery will be uh on the afrin fare that was gonna be showing on the application there when you accepted the delivery okay because here's my question if i'm on my area my minimum that i typically get rather it's one two or three kilometers is three dollars now when you go to the city of Montreal, if there is a 3.1 multiplier, isn't the minimum, let's say if it was originally $3, isn't that $3 minimum supposed to be multiplied by three? In that case, uh, we don't have uh, the other information for that, Ashley. On how this, um, the three point uh, something that you mentioned on the calculation in the system, because uh, here I I just have the general questions when it comes to these affairs that you're having. But for further information, if you would like, okay, for the details of it, because uh, I'm in the account and payment, but I'm also in the writer side of it. But uh, generally for this Uber Eats uh, concern as well, uh, we don't have other uh, options to see here on our tools. So uh, we have a uh, delivery department. If you want, I can able to transfer you. So for further information on the details, on the fare that it should be intended for delivery as well. Yeah, because um, what I saw on my and I screen I screenshotted it for records. 
is okay. is making Uber look like they're lying to us drivers. So I need to rectify this. Um, okay. Because I make more here without a multiplier than what I do in the city with a big multiplier. So I want to find out what's the basis because, yeah, what I saw was not good for Uber's account. I have a question that I kind of need an answer to. It's more of a general question. I'll try to answer that one for you as long as I'm actually quite trained for it. But then you have to go so, ahead. Well, I hope so. Um, basically... Uh -huh. I'm, uh, I'm in Montreal, and we have two sides of Montreal. We have the side that I deliver on, and then we have in the city of Montreal. My question is, if a driver goes to the city of Montreal, what is the minimum without a tip that the driver can be offered from Uber Eats? Base oh, fare. Okay, that's that. I mean... On, on my end, I mean, I mean, on this kind of question, I actually don't have any overview on that. Mainly because on my end, what we know on our department is that drivers are actually paid not uh, based on the base fare that we actually provide. It's just <laughs> that it's actually based on to for what, I mean, the driver is actually, you know, I mean, spending time and distance getting from the pickup location to the drop-off location. That's for what I'm sure. But then uh, regarding your question, I don't have any concrete answer on that. Uh, so yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and just put uh, and some documentations onto this one as well. And if ever is that uh, payments or the, the next representative can go ahead and answer, can go ahead and ask for well, a supervisor on their end so that they can go ahead and help you out onto it, okay? You know what? I will just uh, leave it very because I've uh, spent 15 minutes on the phone now. I've been transferred twice and I have errands to run. Um, but this, I drove back to the South shore of Montreal because when I saw that it was an insult from Uber to be doing that. And it's Uber lying because a 3.1 multiplier and your offer is $3. I can get that already here in the South shore without a multiplier. So, um, Uber is lying to drivers. And the thing is, is I, I, I want my question answered, but I'm pretty confident no matter how many times I get transferred or what manager I get, the question will never be answered because there's not a definite answer from the company. And so basically, after being transferred twice from Uber Eats, one to the accounting department, and the next one was to the delivery department, neither one of these guys had an answer. And so they said, oh, let me transfer you now to the payment department. Well, the ones from the account department was the payment department, and if not, get a supervisor. At the end of the day, nobody's going to have the definite answers. I do feel 110% that Uber Eats is lying to their drivers. Because if you're in a market, and we know that the base fare is supposed to be at least $2, and you're giving a multiplier 3.1, but you stack me with a measly $3.36, well then Uber, prove to me that you're not lying to your drivers. Prove to me that you can actually have support turning around and tell me exactly how it's supposed to be versus the reality of what I'm seeing. Because many of us drivers know that we're being scammed by Uber Eats when it comes to doing these deliveries, but it takes some of us drivers to screenshot this garbage from Uber Eats and showcase it. I was glad enough that when I came back to the South Shore, I could secure some deliveries that was going to make me some more money. But when I go to the city of Montreal, I never accept anything less than eight or nine dollars, thinking to myself that is Uber, if Uber is treating me properly, that that's the base offer. And then you stack your tip against it. Now, I gotta say, probably base offer is more like six dollars, like me and my brother were talking about. But still, I can't believe Uber has the nerve to do something like this. It is disgusting because I know too many people that are going to the city of Montreal because it gives you extra orders. I am not denying the influx of orders. When you go to the city of Montreal, there's a lot of orders to be had, but is it worth it if you're being gypped as a driver? Because essentially, let's take off the multiplier of 3.1. Let's take that $3.36 and you divide it by three. I mean, come on. You're essentially getting what? A dollar and 11 cents. I mean, my math is probably off a dollar and 12 cents for a base rate for a delivery. Would you go to a restaurant for a dollar? A f dollar? This is disgusting. I mean, don't get me wrong. Door Trash is probably doing the same. I, this is why I skip with Skip the Dishes because they have a garbage application. But Uber insulting us for a measly dollar. 
that's what you'll be getting if you go to the city of Montreal without a base offer, but they know they can't do that. So what do they do? Remove the multiplier and give you an offer of at least a minimum of $3. Absolutely disgusting, but why am I happy? I'm happy because I can record it and I can share it with other fellow gig workers. Because if we don't start catching this stuff and reporting it, we're not gonna make too much of a difference. But I mean, I guess I'm, they're documenting it, big freaking deal documenting it, but what difference is it gonna make? This is what these companies are gonna be doing. This is why I don't chase multipliers. Also, I don't chase peak pays. Peak pays are me being told that the customers aren't tipping, so here's a dollar fifty to make up for that seven or eight dollar tip you're going to be lacking. These are the garbage orders. Let's put in a peak pay so that you'll go and chase it. It's the same thing with the surplus. These surpluses or these multipliers are just an additional benefit to make you think, "Ooh, I'm going to make some great money." Do not get me wrong. Many people make a lot of money doing deliveries in the city of Montreal because there's a lot of great tippers when they do come into the mix. But to know that this is the minimum, and a lot of people do accept those minimum offers because they accept every order, is truly disgusting from Uber Eats. So, if you have noticed it in your market, and if you're taking tabs on it, go ahead and comment this below. I don't know what's going to make from this. I don't think anything is going to make from it, but at least I can bring up awareness.